hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, hope you are liking the videos what about the scenario what about the different functionalities videos uh, i'm keeping on the power bi playlist and one videos on the power query hope you are liking it please do subscribe for uh, more updates more scenarios and uh, more learning right okay today we are discussing about a very interesting scenario so let me first introduce to the data model first then i will put on the issue statement then we will slowly will will try to resolve that okay so basically the, this is my model okay so here i have very simple three tables i have so the first table is the product where all the product informations are available and related customers are available in the customer and calendar is nothing but a calendar table or the date continuous data branch and we have a table called purchase okay where we are capturing all the purchase information suppose any customer is buying something any product so that is called i am talking as a purchase here and today we will do a purchase analysis so it means that i want to calculate i want to see the products okay how many customer bought this product first second how many purchase multiple purchases happened for a for this product so let's take an example product let's take p1 okay for the p1 let's take i the p1 bought by 100 customer okay so out of that how many times it got multiple time it got purchase in the sense p1 got multiple suppose i am a customer out of the 135 customer how many times it got multiple purchase so i taken some to another customer uh, take purchase two times so it is combination of four so the four times the product got purchase so it's multiple times so and we want to see the list who products which are purchase multiple time or it is more than one or greater than equals to two more than two not one time greater than equals to two so how to do that okay so first we'll see how to calculate uh, the product and the number of customer who bought that product okay let's see that so first of all let me take a table here all right and let me bring from the product uh, let's take the product id or product name is fine product name all right so this is my product name here and i want to see the uh, customer count means this product bought by how many customer okay very simple that is that is a very simple uh, calculation we need to do okay previous to that i just created a total sales right now but that is not required for this purpose but anyway this is just a sum x okay but my scenario is that i want to get the count of customer okay the customer count so new measure customer count okay so how will say distinct count we have a distinct fun function then i will take the customer id now i have a choice whether i need to take the customer id from customer table or from the purchase table as for the relationship so customer is making a relationship between the purchase table so if i take the customer from the purchase table then only i will be able to get it the, the actual customer who purchased the product right because who are not purchased that will be not available on my purchase table so here the trick is we need to take the customer id here in this case from the purchase table okay simple that okay this is the customer count all right so first part is clear now the product one bought by 135 customer okay now i need out of this okay out of this how many times this product one got multiple time purchased how many times two times three times four times five times six times how many times it got multiple purchase okay so why i am doing this analysis by seeing the product i want to see who the product which are multiple time purchased 
because I want to see, let's take I am running a company and I have 10 different products, right? Out of the products, let's say one product is, is not getting repeated uh, by the customer or they are not purchasing repeatedly. So there is a problem with the product, right? And, and one, one uh, product is that it is frequently uh, the customer multiple times they are purchasing, right? So based on that, the company can take a decision that why this product is not getting purchased or this this uh, product is why this is multiple time getting what is the pro what is the problem here it is why it is not happening and why it is increasing on the purchase so this kind of analysis is very important here okay so now how to go ahead with this okay so basically what i need to do let me pull a certain information here Okay, let me take another table here somewhere. Uh, let's take this one. So, what I am trying to say is that take the customer ID from the customer table. Okay, and I want to see each customer how many times they purchased. Okay, the count of the purchase. Simple. Okay, just I want to see that. So for that, let's take an example of a new measure here. Say purchase count. Okay. Purchase count means nothing. Just a count rows of purchase table. So how many times each customer purchased? Right. So this is my purchase count. So if I bought this. So I will get a count here. Okay. So see this is and this is all these things. Out of that, we want to see which product has multiple times it got purchased. Okay. So let's see how it, how we want to do. So first of all, we want to build this table because I don't have a uh, like this kind of table we have in a summarization level. So let's start with a basic table uh, in a DAX then that expression I will take it to the measures okay so this is very simple the purchase count is already there and as a measure which is count rows of purchase okay now I want to create a table just along with these two columns customer ID and purchase so I have a choice okay so let me delete this because this is just to showcase what exactly my requirement here so now keep it here and let's put the data table here data tab and create a table okay the table anyway i will delete it this is just a test table okay so what i need i want to need the customer id and the purchase count purchase count already we done it that is nothing but the count rows from the purchase table okay so i want to just group them so group is we have so many choices so i am going one choice which is nothing but your summarize. So summarize, which there are multiple options are there here, right? Summarize, first is something like table, which table you want to summarize. In case this, I can say purchase, okay? What you want to group by? I want to say customer, customer ID. Simple, okay? Just try to build this column, enter. So we will get a group of customer uh, based on the purchase. So it is like almost 801 rows of customer we got it. Okay. Now for that what I need, I need my purchase count. Okay. So here after this comma, I can say this is the heading I want putting. Okay. So purchase count comma. What I need to display here? The purchase count which I calculated. Okay. Enter. Now this makes a table, okay? So if you see that each and every customer uh, is having different, different. It's not 17 actually, okay? Is is changing, okay? It's just a data. So every customer, how much, how many times the purchase I got in a form of a table inside my summarize. But always listen to one uh, very. Uh, like important point here is that and do remember in the DAX 
whenever you are doing or you are using a summarize function okay don't create any other columns inside that because it is doing a group by already uh, based on the purchase and, and, and doing a group by on the customer id and if you are including another column into that which is all again aggregated it will slow down our performance okay and it is a best practice from the maxwell recommendation also so what we will do in this case since i need this column i'll just delete here and i will use another function on this very important function from the dax is called add columns okay add columns and add columns the first argument is table and this summarize table is giving me a table here okay now i will say put a comma here and now i will add this column whatever i was doing it okay purchase count purchase count okay simple but it will make a difference okay um, what happened okay here the comma is is not required okay sorry your comma is not required now enter it sorry again now enter it so you are getting this this table now take this table and we will we'll try to modify in the dax expression with a multiple purchase okay let's copy this okay so we are getting a table where we are grouping the customer id with their purchase count okay now let's go to the report layer and try to create a measure which is nothing but your multiple purchase okay and copy paste simple now what i need is that whatever the purchase count i am getting it for the each customer i want to filter wherever the purchase count is greater than equals to 2 that's where the the multiple purchases will be if if the guy is purchasing one time i don't want to consider that if the purchase count is greater than equals to 2 then only i want to display it so on top of this i will do a filter okay filter filter will take table and the add column which is there in this till this much it will give a table here then we will put a comma here and we will just put a filter condition here which is nothing but your purchase count greater than equals to 2 okay done now if you commit this formula it will throw an error why because we are using a filter function the output of the filter is a table it's not a scalar value so from this i want to uh, filter i already filter based on the purchase count which is greater than two two i just want to count this now okay so count rows of the table okay count rows of this table whatever it is displaying me this i want to calculate so now enter it it will not throw an error it will work out so this is a very uh, like it's not complex but it is not simple rather okay so here in this example you will get how to use your summarize hmm? how to use your add columns then filter function and based on that the count rows so this is the level of dax which is required in a real time okay so make sure you uh, see this video mo one more time understand this how i am doing it and come up with uh, and write your solution and if another uh, any anything other solution if you have any simple solution or more complex whatever may be just put it in the comment below okay now enter all right so now if i drag this multiple purchase now to the right now let me put a descending uh, filter on the multiple purchase so that uh, from the top to bottom it will work out yeah see now this is a very good analysis for the customer 
if you are giving to the client it is a very good understanding what is understanding just see the first row the product 24 the product name is product 24 bought by 165 customer okay and out of that 22 times it purchased more than one time okay it got multiple purchases 22 times okay so this product got 21 15 and up. if you go down this is the list product which is only purchased for four times only okay so by seeing this data anybody or in your sales department or your client who is who is doing this business he can uh, see that like which which are the products i uh, my sales or the, my purchase is happening correctly or which of the list product which is not happening what could be the reason what i will do for that so you are giving a proper analysis to the customer related to the purchase here okay so hope you like this video again i'm saying that it is not sorry this is not the easiest calculation i can say just try to understand and watch the video once and twice and and write your write your tax code again okay hope you like this video do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get update whenever i am putting any videos and thank you for the all all this support thank you